Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Life with Nicole, Marie, and Gary. Today, you guys, I am going to be making um, Southwest Burger. My take on what would be the Whopper, but we're going to go ahead and make our own. So, and I'm also making zucchini fries. This is going to be start to finish, so this may be a little bit of a long video. <laughs> I do apologize. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. And for everyone that keeps coming back, thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. All right, let's get into the ingredients. I'm going to be making a cheesy sauce to dunk the zucchini fries in. I have my onion, my tomato, my avocado. I have what did I? my onion, tomato, avocado, zucchini, all that's been washed. This is what we're topping the burgers with, a three cheese blend. I have vegan mayo, you use any mayo of your choice, and I'm adding hot sauce, that's going to be my spicy sauce. I got my Peco Preg comes back there for uh, my zucchini fries. The seasonings throughout will be paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, thyme, parsley, Worcestershire sauce. Uh, liquid smoke, black pepper, chicken seasoning, and Johnny's French dip. I use it for more than just a French dip. We got eggs for our egg wash. We got our burger here. And it's a bacon cheeseburger, y'all. So we got bacon over here. Whew. So let's get started. All right, you guys. First of all, we're going to go ahead and get our egg wash. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little water to it. You can add milk to it, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and add water to it. I'm going to go ahead and get that mixed around really good. I'm going to go ahead and add some seasoning to it as well. All the seasoning, possibly. My chicken seasoning, a little bit of pepper, and that's what I'm going to put in my egg wash. Let's go on to the flour dredge. Next I got my flour right here. That's about mm, almost a cup. We're going to go ahead and season it again with that chicken seasoning, some pepper, some paprika, some onion powder, garlic powder, and we're going to get them all incorporated. The chicken seasoning has enough salt for us, you guys. If you want to add additional salt to it, you, you're more than welcome to. But that's just what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to take my breadcrumbs. You can use any breadcrumb of your style. You can make homemade, whatever. I'm going to put it in the third vessel. My third dredging station. All right, let's get these zucchinis cut up. I'm going to wash and clean your zucchini. I just cut off the little ends like so. I come down the middle. I do not scrape the seeds out. I keep everything. Come down here again. Now you can cut these up in halves, which I think I might do that. Just so they're... Like so, and I'm going to do it with the other one. Now y'all want to come in here um, and dredge your, your zucchini. Go ahead and run her in the egg and your panko breadcrumbs. Like so, and then just place it 
skin side up on your lined baking sheet or what, however you want to prepare it. I have mine lined with parchment paper. Again, we'll just go through this. And just give her a toss. Now, when I have these all lined up on my baking sheet, I will come with my non-cooking spray and I'll spray them down so they'll crisp up. I have my oven preheated at 400 degrees and I, I pretty much eyeball it, you guys. Um, I can, I'll come back and tell you exactly how long. Usually it's about anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes, sometimes less but it just all depends so again don't worry if you get a little bit of a bald spot somewhere it's no big deal but anyways yes so i was watching hilda dc says hey i was watching her do her burger king review on the bacon uh the whopper the bake southwest bacon cheese burger whopper if i'm saying it right or the southwest whopper with cheese bacon cheese y'all know what i mean <laughs> and I thought, well, instead of me going out to eat, because I, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to be eating at a bunch of restaurants. I want to cook at home. Number one, it's healthier to cook at home. And um, number two, it, I enjoy cooking. I love cooking. If, if anything gives me any kind of uh, any kind of solitude, it's cooking. It's being in the kitchen and it's cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up these guys. And don't worry, you should be using one wet, one dry, but you know what? I, I don't fuss around with it. I want to just get the job done. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. All right. So I'll just show you real quick. I'm lining them up on my baking sheet. I'll spray them with non-cooking spray, pop them in the oven about 25, 30 minutes. Okay, y'all, now that we got those in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and start adding my seasoning. This is my ground beef. This ground beef is 93% lean. So a little bit of the Johnny's. French dip is just for seasoning. I'm going to... A little bit of uh, liquid smoke. I'm going to be using my George Foreman grill. I have two of them, but the one in particular is uh, a grill slash panini. So that's the one I'm going to be doing these on. And also the bacon. So that there was the Worcestershire. We got our paprika. Onion powder. garlic powder and you guys the salt in in the in the liquid smoke and the johnny's and the um worcestershire that'll be enough salt for us all right now i'm adding thyme parsley we're going to mix this we're going to combine everything in this bowl we're going to cover it with plastic wrap we're going to set it aside. You can use gloves. Guys, I got clean hands. I just got done washing up and everything and cleaning over here. Clean hands, you guys, are the best tool. Guys, don't be afraid to touch the meat. If you are uncomfortable touching protein, then go ahead by all means and wear some gloves. But I'm old school. I just get right in here with my hands. All right, we're going to cover it. We're going to set it aside. We're going to get that grill preheated. All right, to our George Foreman grill. Um, I got to cook this bacon first. So uh, usually you're supposed to start your bacon off in a cold pan. So it'll be a cold grill here. And I'm going to just cook up four of these guys for each of us to have on our on our burger. 
Yeah, just cook them until done to your likeness. She's looking good, y'all. Almost done, and then onward to the burgers. Oh, yeah. I need an intermission. I need an intermission. Okay, guys, I made three patties so I can have them a little bigger there. But anyways, there you go. So we're going to put the top down and let it do its thing. Okay, y'all, so let's go ahead and assemble this burger. This guacamole that I made, it's got lime. It has tahini in there. So we're going to go ahead and put our spread down there. We decided to use American cheese. Okay, so we got that. We got the bacon. I'm, we're going to use spinach. Why? Because that's, that's what's going on right there. A little bit of tomato. We use all the whole tomato. We're going to use our onion. As far as the sauce goes, I didn't make it in advance, so we got some mayo. And hot sauce. That's my take on the Southwest Bacon Cheese Whopper, you guys. Let me know what you think. I also have zucchini fries. And there they are. I got my family on video chat. So here you have it, y'all. The Southwest Bacon Cheeseburger, and I added, it calls for um, flavored chips. I have uh, blue corn tortilla chips. Here you guys have it. This is my take on the Southwest Burger. Zucchini fries. There you guys have it. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, you guys. Until next video, stay blessed, stay safe. Have a wonderful day. Bye, y'all.